Hello, in this video we are going to see how we can upgrade the Drupal core. So when you log in into your Drupal based website, Drupal in the backend keeps on checking for any updates or something. Updates are available for some patches or some security releases and so many other uh, things are there. So you should periodically look if there are any updates available or usually when you are logged in as an administrator onto your website uh, you will see some messages whether there are updates available or not or otherwise also if you go to your report section and here we will see available updates so here in the available updates you can see there is an update available for Drupal core our Drupal core is 10.0.0.3 and latest available is 10.0.7 now since this was on a local machine i did not bother much about going through each and every update but in real life as soon as there is an update specifically uh, if it is a security update even if it is not a security update you should uh, keep your drupal core and any other available modules if you have added should be updated as soon as you come to know that so either you will come to know about available updates through this interface or you can go to the Drupal's website periodically and keep a track of the same. Now the process we will look in a minute. Here it says recommended version is 10.0.7 though you can try jumping directly from this to this which is which may work but it is not recommended. Okay so here we have Drupal 10.03 it says you can have 10.07 so let us go to the Drupal's website and uh, we will download the next one 10.0.4 and then you will upgrade procedure is going to be same for all the versions that have been there but we'll in this demo we will upgrade from 10.0.3 to 10.0.4 so just make sure you keep on upgrading as and when the releases are there and as discussed in the previous video before you upgrade make sure you have taken a backup of your Drupal's website and database okay so here I have opened this Drupal page where you can download the Drupal 10.0.7 now we are interested in this one Drupal 10.0.4 and here they have given you different instructions apart from that what you need to do is just go through the instructions if any special changes are made to certain files dot ht access or settings dot php or any special instruction is mentioned over there we will have to follow that otherwise the next steps which are going to tell you are the only required steps that you will need to follow in this particular release there are no special instructions as such so we will just go ahead and work with that so as usual before we proceed we will put our site into maintenance mode now our site is already in maintenance mode so we don't need to do anything the site is in maintenance mode keep in mind once your work is done you have taken the backup etc you have to remove it from the maintenance mode and also before you go ahead with the upgrade make sure you clear all the caches okay so once the caches are clear we are ready okay so you can see i have downloaded the drupal core 10.0.4 over here it's a tar.gz you can download the zip as per your requirement now what we are going to do is we need to delete certain uh, files from this and we need to keep certain files so as we had discussed the core of drupal is in core and the vendor these are the two things that we do not disturb and all the other things modules profile sites and themes this remains as it is fine these will remain as it is we are not going to delete them 
So as I said, we will delete these two files now either from the graphical interface or the command line. And if you are using your web based interface, the C panel, there is a file manager, you can go ahead and delete that. So we will delete these two directories completely. Once deleted, make sure they are gone completely. Sometimes because of some file permissions and all the directories do not get deleted. So you have to make sure that those directories are completely deleted. Okay, next thing is we are going to delete all the files that are here, except for of course our Drupal core which we have downloaded. Now HD access is a file that you may modify over a period of time. So you may not need to delete it. Uh, you can use the same HD access. If it is mentioned in that release that there are changes to HD access, then only you will have to make sure that the new HD access is added with and then you can add your own changes that you had done. So in this case, we will delete all these files that are there except for this. Any other files apart from this, which you might have added over here, some icons, images, etc. You can leave those as it is fine. So these are the files that are there. We are going to delete them. The files are deleted. Now what you need to do is extract your Drupal core over here. Now my Drupal core is extracted. So what we'll do is whatever files we have deleted, we will copy them back here inside this location obviously from where we had deleted them. So what we had deleted was core vendor and these remaining files. So barring these files, I have copied all of the files since I deleted the HD access. There were no updates which I had done into it. So I'm just doing it. Otherwise, you have to be uh, careful about that where you whether you want it or want to delete that or not. So core vendor and all the other files. So we will cut them from here and we will simply paste them here. So our Drupal stuff is back. Now I'm not going to delete this Drupal uh, downloaded Drupal core and this directory immediately. But our basic work is done by copying this. So next what we need to do is there is a update dot php that needs to be run you can see there is this update dot php this is what we need to run immediately after our work is done so we will go to our website and over here directly we will say update dot php okay now here just follow through whatever is given fine here again see it mentions most of the things which we have discussed back up your database and all. Now we will continue. Now it says there is some kind of pending update which will be done automatically for us. Apply the pending update. The update process is happening dependent upon what changes and other things are there. It will show you that. So now it says updates were attempted. If you see no failures, then you can be happy and so on. Otherwise, the errors will be locked. And now you can either go to back to the front page of your website. Okay, so we are back on our website and most of the things are working over here. So you can be really happy about it. And once this is done, go back to configuration, development, and you can simply go online. Okay, and save your configuration. Now, in my case, I still have to go up to uh, the 0.7 version, whichever is latest. I will do that in the background. Now, uh, as mentioned earlier, you have to make sure that every time there is a release, you do the updates. Another preferable thing would be once your update is successful, take a backup of the database and this again before you take it out of the maintenance mode. Once you take it out of the maintenance mode, it is also said that you should clear your caches. Otherwise, sometimes people who are visiting your website will see the site under maintenance page. It's cached sometimes. So it's better to do that. Caches are cleared. We have taken the site 
out of the maintenance mode and our Drupal core has been updated.